Let's check the weather now. And heavy rain moved through the region, causing flash flooding. We are clearing out now. Mm. It's going to be feeling much different outside. Kate is back with a full forecast. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica and Yuki. Yeah, it is officially fall now, and we are getting ready to finally feel like it outside this morning before the rain came in. It was warm, it was sticky, it felt humid outside, it felt like the tropics, but Tonight, cooler, drier air is sweeping in as the rain slowly moves out. A live look at the city right now, just some clouds. No rain being reported this hour at the airport. We still had some light rain reported last hour. 66 is the current temperature. It feels like 66. The dew point is 63, but winds have shifted, becoming more westerly now, and that west wind is going to draw in that cool, dry air. Dew points are already dropping. Look at this dry air just off to the west, and as it permeates, look at the dew points dropping to the 50. In Wilmington, 55 in Allentown, just drying out the whole area. Cool breeze coming in from the west as the rain shifts to the north and east. Still some heavy downpours over Long Island, New York City. We still have a band of showers moving through the city and across South Jersey right now. Some pockets of steadier rain still over portions of Lower Bucks County, around Gloucester City, and up toward the city of Philadelphia. But overnight, this will continue to push away. It may be a gradual clear tomorrow morning as the clouds move off the coast, but by by afternoon will all be centered under high pressure with a good deal of sun. There is a reinforcing cold front on Saturday. Watch how it just falls apart. Not much expected with this, but there may be an increase in clouds or a stray sprinkle Saturday night, and that will just again reinforce the cooling that's going to move in over the weekend. Sunday may be a degree or two cooler than Saturday with high pressure still overhead. Dew points very low. Dew points are in the low 50s or even the 40s right through the middle of next week. That is very crisp, comfortable air. It is a very dry stretch, which is what we need, especially in the wake of a heavy rain event, to dry out and basically get the ground to dry and the creeks and streams to recede once again. 58 tonight. Showers still around for the next few hours, but then a slow clear from west to east. Tomorrow, it will turn sunny for all of us throughout the day, crisp and feeling like fall with a high of 72. Over the weekend, we're talking mid Saturdays, mid 70s on Saturday, a mix of sun and clouds, a few more clouds as that front approaches. Sunday, perfect fall day, mostly sunny at 73. And it's great football weather. Villanova heading up to Beaver Stadium to take on Penn State. On Saturday, it'll be a little chilly. Temperatures in the 60s, a few clouds with that front moving through, but still a great day for some college football. Nice for Temple football. Football on Saturday as well, mid 70s. Sunday, 73. Monday looks gorgeous. A little warmer Tuesday with a shower at night as our next cold front comes through. That'll knock us right back to the low 70s Wednesday and Thursday. Yuki, if this isn't a perfect fall forecast, I don't know what is. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kate. <laughs>